Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to just run your Flutter app by using the mobile app without using the virtual emulator of Android Studio. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to actually just run your Flutter app using the third party software and you can easily just control your device from this system or you can just easily click from the mobile and you can see the changes in the computer screen so you might be wondering how this can be actually possible because i will be using the software called yasrccpy so this is an amazing tool that you can currently find in the github and i have already uh, given a star over it because it is so much popular and so much amazing tool that you need to use instead of using the third party software like um, mobizin that is totally the disaster and you need to start using this so for getting started you just have to head back to the website called github backslash zeni mobile backslash src cpi i'll give a link in the description below but so how can you get started actually so if you are using a flutter and wanted to connect your app through the data cable through your cell phone and just wanted to appear this emulator in the screen because this is actually a mobile app running onto your mobile phone and actually running a mobile phone and it is appearing in the computer screen so you might be wondering how just we can start it so for this you just need to install this software and you don't have to worry about this software just you can use the command line interface if you are the uh, if you just love command line interface if you are in a Linux machine, you can use this command and just you have to uh, execute this one line of code and that's it. And just for the Windows, I am just currently on the Windows. For Windows, we have the package called Choco. So cho we can use this Choco, this command and just you have to copy paste and uh, just, uh, open the PowerShell command because we have to just open the PowerShell uh, as a run as administrator because we want to give the permission to it so if you did not use the run as a administrator it will not just install so you have to just control b this and install i have already installed this so and then just what you have to do is just execute this command run and that's it my dear friends and just you need to use this src cpy src cpy just you need to use this only one line of command and your emulator will appear like this but one thing just remember for running this you should have connected to your mobile device through the usb cable so just for connecting to the usb cable you just need to open your go to your mobile phone if you did not have the setup um, up to now it for the first time you just have to go to your setting you just have to go to your setting and just about phone and your phone will appear and you have to just go to the control number and build number so you have to click the six time because as soon as you click six time you will be able to use the developer option because i have already used it so one thing after using this we should just you you have to use you have to just on the usb tethering so usb is the source the usb So, so just you have to on the USB debugging. So if you did not have a set of the USB debugging to off, just make sure to just make it on. And you can easily run your Flutter app or any device and you can easily see the changes. As you can see, I'm just using my mobile phone and you, you are seeing the changes over here. Not only this, I can just remotely control from my desktop. As you can see, I'm just using desktop and it is changing the real appearance. So how can we just actually appear? I just have said, first you need to head back to this website and just install this as per your system and then, then execute this command because for executing this, I have just set up the Flutter app and just I what I have done is run run without debugging as soon as you just have connected to your mobile phone you will see here uh, devices name and I have this uh, device name this is my mobile device name and you can use the this 
and this is a old technique that take a lot of time as well as um, degrade the performance of your system so you can use this software that make really 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 fast so hope you guys have learned something new regarding this and if you find this useful don't forget to give a like and i will see you next time